I'm gonna show you how to make one of the best chicken shawarma. Hey Salam, I hope you guys are well. Halal Surf is back for another video and this time I'm making an authentic chicken shawarma. I'm gonna serve this chicken shawarma with a really nice salad and a Lebanese garlic thyme sauce. Trust me, you're really gonna enjoy it. Without further ado, let's get started. Our right, our chicken shawarma, we're gonna start with our baharat spice mix. Without this spice, there's no chicken shawarma. So you will need ground cardamom. Best to toss your spices before grounding them. And with the ground cloves, finely ground nutmeg. And with the ground cinnamon, here I've got cumin, coriander, and finally our ground black pepper. Give that a really good mix and set aside. On half our marinade, in with the yogurt, and with the crushed garlic. Grab your knife, slice. So with a zest of fresh lemon and of course some fresh lemon juice. Now you could also use a bit of the vinegar if you like. And of course some roasted red chili paste just to add some more flavor. And with the tomato paste adds a bit of body to our marinade. Have a baharat spice mix. Add a bit of heat with some red chili. And with the turmeric. Ginger and onion powder. Smoked paprika. We're gonna balance everything with some sugar. Got the salt in there. And now we're gonna finish it with a really good touch of foil. Now give this a really good mix and combine everything. Trust me, this is one of the best chicken shawarma that you're gonna try. Your mouth is gonna be watering. All right, so at this point of time, I'm just gonna have a little taste of the marinade. Mm, this is the perfect time to adjust any seasoning if you need to. It's gonna remove some of this marinade for later use. All right, for the chicken, I'm using thighs. You could also use chicken breast. You wanna make sure all the pieces are in equal size so they will cook evenly and properly and nothing will burn. Right, let's give this a really good mix. Combine everything together. Oh man, just look at the marinade. So delicious. Massage the marinade in properly. This chicken shawarma is gonna be so juicy. And now we're gonna let the chicken marinate for a few hours, or you can do it overnight for best results. This is gonna add a lot of flavor to the chicken, trust me. To be honest, I wasn't really into air fryers. There was a lot of hype around it, so I thought it was just another fancy kitchen gadget. But this air fryer is very different. And when I say that, I really mean it. Introducing the brand new K5 Pro air fryer oven from Hosswood. K5 Pro along with air frying also offers oven functions like baking, roasting, broiling and even comes with a rotisserie which is my favorite feature. It has six high power heating elements which cooks everything faster and with a wide temperature and time you can freely adjust cooking settings. This air fryer features an intuitive control panel which lets you select over 20 popular recipe presets such as roasting chicken, baking pizzas or grilling steaks. The best part of this air fryer is the large capacity of 25 liters which is 80% larger than most of the air fries in the market. You can easily cook a large chicken or a 12 inch pizza with this. The K5 Pro comes with a full set of accessories including rotisserie kits, non-stick baking tray, fry rack, oven gloves and so on. This air fryer one has the advanced 360 hot air circulation technology. This unique feature will let you save 85% oil which is always good. Unlike other air fryers, K5 uses a premium animal liner which is easier to clean, more durable and corrosion resistant. The K5 Pro will definitely add lots of functionality to your kitchen and will speed up various cooking processes. So if you're looking for a unique air fryer with better quality and they will last you longer, then check out the Hosswords K5 Pro. Hosswords are currently offering a 10% discount. I will leave the code and links down below. They even provide a two year warranty and a 24 seven after sale service. So it's a no brainer. Thank you Hosford for sponsoring this video. All right, so I'm gonna be using the rotisserie feature on the K5 Pro to cook our chicken shawarma. All right, grab your chicken, grab the rotisserie accessory and skewer the skewer. Now if you want, you could place some money around today, but I'm just gonna leave it as it is. And I grab your chicken and you wanna pierce a small hole in the middle where we can place the skewer. And now stop placing your chicken and make sure they're evenly placed on the skewer. Just push it down a bit. As you can see, everything is evenly distributed here. Just gonna ensure it's perfectly cooked. Or so that looks great, beautifully assembled. Or finally, I'm just gonna add a tomato and skewer everything in place. And I carefully place the chicken inside the oven. I'm gonna use the baking mode on the K5 Pro to cook our chicken. I'm gonna set the temperature to around 200 Celsius and we're gonna let this cook for around 40 to 45 minutes until the internal temperature has reached 75 Celsius or 165 Fahrenheit. You can also cook the chicken on the grill or on the stovetop, it's up to you. 
On a make our Lebanese garlic sauce or tum, we're gonna start with the peeled garlic cloves. If you're using an aged garlic clove, then you will have this green sprout in the middle, you know, as opposed to fresh ones. So what you wanna do is you wanna grab your knife and slice it in the middle and remove that green sprout. Now it's very important you do this. We don't want to have any better taste in our sauce. We're also gonna use the juice of fresh lemon. So squeeze that out. And I grab your blender in with the garlic cloves, in with the salt. And now you wanna blend this until nice and smooth and you have this amazing garlic puree. And now we're going to add some of the lemon juice and continue to blend this until nice and smooth. All right, this is exactly what we're looking for. It's got the perfect texture. This will help us easily emulsify the sauce. And finally, we're gonna slowly mix in the oil. I'm using a sunflower oil. You could also use any other neutral oil. Now you wanna make sure you slowly add in that oil. You don't wanna break that emulsion. Any of the remaining lemon juice, you also want to add that in slowly. All right guys, let's check our sauce. It's so nice and creamy. Have a little taste. Perfect. Our amazing tomb sauce. Done. Now let the sauce rest in the fridge. The taste will develop even more. I guess let's check this. Carefully remove the chicken. Oh man, that looks so delicious. Got a beautiful color on that. Like I said, one of the best chicken shawarma that you're gonna try. Now let the chicken rest for at least 10 to 15 minutes before slicing into it. Alright guys, once the chicken has rested, let's slice into it. Look at the amazing chicken shawarma. The oven has cooked the chicken beautifully. So juicy, so tender, amazing flavors. Mm. What you can do is you can slice off some of the chicken and then put it back in the oven and let it broil again. Alright guys, let's plate this up, grab your shawarma, we've got some of the salad. And of course our tomb sauce. Here I'm using a Lebanese bread for our chicken shawarma. Alright, first of all I'm just gonna add some of this garlic sauce onto here. Turn some out of chicken onto there. I'm also gonna add some of this hummus. A bit of this fresh parsley. Of course some of this pickled red onions. Some of this lettuce. Of course our juicy tomatoes of this red cabbage like some of these olives as well you know adds a bit more taste don't forget the pickles a little bit of this chili pinch of this sumac and a bit more sauce onto there that looks mouth watering and now you can simply fold this just like so and now you can toast the bread on the stove top for a few seconds Play this up here because I'm the salad, our tomb sauce, and our delicious chicken shawarma. Our amazing chicken shawarma. Done. Guys, I'm gonna try this. Bismillah. Hmm. Wow, that is so so delicious. This brings back a lot of memories for me. And the salad, the pickles, the sauce, everything goes very well together. It is so so good. Those flavors are amazing, trust me. Let's try some of these fries. Mm. The chicken shawarma was so delicious, full of flavors. Trust me, you're really gonna enjoy it. Can we please get this video to 5,000 likes? I would really appreciate it. All right guys, thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure subscribe, make sure like. Inshallah, see you next time. Until then, salam, make for your mom. Make for your dad, make for your family, enjoy.